Hi guys, welcome to the Lara Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. This time we're going to be converting or writing in Kotlin. Uh, we'll be doing this in our project which speaks more about uploading media file to the server using retrofit. Uh, the beauty of Kotlin is you could uh, write Kotlin with Java classes so it's interoperable in the sense that it could actually call different methods uh, from Java. It could even work with other Java projects. So that's just uh, the beauty of it. And now this time I'm going to be showing you the, the image activity. Uh, the Java right there at the, at the right which is in Sublime Text and the Kotlin version in Android Studio. So we'll be comparing and be seeing the differences on how we could actually do things in the Kotlin way. So I'll head straight down and I'll be explaining and be we'll be looking at it rather in details so you could understand uh, the flow and uh, the differences it is. In the Java class we have the image activity that extends app compact and implements the view on click listener and uh, right there in Kotlin you could see how this is done in the shorthand form. Uh, we have the, ca the class, the image activity, uh, the colon calling the app compact activity just like the extends and uh, the implements with just the comma uh, supplement the implements uh, you do called the view on click listener and afterwards we have the views uh, declared the simplest way to reference a view uh, with property is to use a nullable type which in Kotlin I'll be, we will be using the late init and uh, also we'll be referencing the, the data type right in front of the variable if you're declaring any 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 um, value in uh, Kotlin, you use the val keyword as you've seen here. Uh, you use the val, or sometimes you use the var, uh, the variable and the value. So look at the values that we are actually interacting here. Uh, we have the the finer uh, camera capture, the media type, the file URI, the media part. We have that in URI uh, data type. We have the media part in string, the button. Uh, just look at the way it's been referenced in Kotlin. We have that in URI. We have the string, the button. Uh, you write that right in front of it and you should set that to null because Kotlin actually takes cognizance of null from onset. So with that, you're good to go. And uh, that uh, declares uh, the, uh, the values. After that, we have the onCreate method. The onCreate method, right there in Java class, you could see it, uh, where you set the content view, the point at the different views, you initialize it, set listeners to it. Uh, the same flow, but once you're calling uh, the override, you know, you have to override the onCreate method. You just point down the override, and anything called void, use the font uh, for void, which you have it right there, or onCreate. So you pass in the save instance state just like the way you pass that into the Java class as you can see. Uh, this is just a shorthand form and you pass in the bundle. You call the onCreate method, you set the contents uh, view, you initialize the views just like the way you do uh, right there. Find view by ID, no need to actually write uh, the image view in, in, par in, in parentheses before the find view by ID. You just point that as the image view as button and they upload as button. You set the click listener to as well and you pass in the dialog uh, so that the dialog could be initialized. So that's that for the onCreate method. Let's get to look at other methods uh, right, uh, which we have. We have the onClick method which uh, is actually going to take cognizance when you are picking the image and uh, it's uh, going to give you the, the room to either select the image or you're going to take that from camera. That's uh, the the image picker, the, the material dialog which is used. Now let's look at this closely. Uh, right there in the Java class we could see the difference. We have the switch uh, called the case of the peak image if it's peak image and if it's for the upload based on the click of the button uh, being trigger. When you have the peak image you instantiate the material dialog. You pass in the attributes in there, the title, the items area, its ID and the callback which you override on selection and you also use the switch statement to iterate through which selection made probably the first case which is the case 0 down to the last let's look at that in Kotlin 
in Kotlin right there let me expand this so we could see that much more visibly in Kotlin the the switch statement replaces with the when when the ID in the short form no need of writing uh, repeating those IDs because you've actually declared that earlier on and when the ID is pick image you call on the dialogue you set the title and the corresponding attributes as you, as you have the same thing goes right there in the override now you don't have the override you just have the callback which calls the dialogue the view the which and text which you also pass right there and which is the statement of the uh, of the switch which you have it as when the switch in Kotlin is called when and if you look at how simple it is you point down at the different IDs of the uh, switch statement the first the zero uh, which points out to the picker to select uh, from gallery and you could have that you could see the chunk of uh, of the body to actually do that just wrap around uh, the curly braces and the second is when you actually call in the camera the camera device to get the image for you you have the capture image method which is going to run and the last is actually setting a default image to so the resources which you have as the index as well which show that and look at the second switch of the outer which is the upload just points down to the upload file you could see how this is quite different from uh, the onclick method we have in Java yeah let's move further uh, we'll be leaving out the external available since we are we've actually done that right there when we are about getting into this particular activity now let's get to look at the on activity for results if you will remember when you're overriding in Kotlin you just add that instead of the annotation which you use at, over, at override you just point that directly at override form means void on activity for results now you're passing those attributes look at the way the attributes have been passing the request code is an int the result code an int while the data itself is an intent just uh, the way the request code the result code and the data now you need to test if the result code is okay and uh, if also the request code is check for to just like the way we have that right there in the Java version now let's get to look at the image we're getting we have the selected image right there as the val type which you have as you are right here so it doesn't really matter where you're pointing at if you look at that the val is the uri while uh it actually takes the data and the data which is for the intent uh, let's get to look at the array which you are passing uh, if you should notice we have a string array here called the five parts column and if you're looking at the kotlin version it passing the array off instead of uh we really bringing out the 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 brackets of the array here yeah? you just have the value uh, which could be anything even the same thing come uh, when it comes to the cursor you also have the value the cursor uh, instead of having the cursor object instantiating and doing some other long process the aspect here is the the move to force this actually confirms that you and the cursor will not be null this is just like checking if uh, when if you should remember in Java when you're trying to check for a null type that if this cursor is not equals to null do this if it's null just return now this is just what it's doing trying to test the cursor if it's not null and it moves first to actually get the the, uh, the values extracted so the val is also used here so you don't actually need to start specifying a different uh, kind of just stick on your val if you are need to declare that right there as a global scope you add the URI you add a string or integer right at the front of it and set that to null this is a nullable type but if you are right there in the method you declare your val and you're good to go so that wraps it up for the activity uh, result let's get to look at the initialized dialog tip stance the protected font as the protected void as we all know uh, let's get to look at the that's one aspect I want us to look at. The other aspect still stands, just that you have the var, the variable, and the shorthand form of the client. Look at this uh, photo file, which actually sets that as a null, uh, nullable type. So it's actually not going to get that to null. If it's not going to be null, if it's going to be null, it's going to uh, catch that. Now let's get to look at uh, the 
that's one aspect I want us to do. The companion object. This is quite si different from uh, the flow we've all known to be. It actually wraps uh, some bunch of uh, fields. The, the request take photo, the request pick photo, the camera pick request, and even the media type, the image directory name. It wraps that with the method get output media file as a companion object. So what is a companion object? Uh, Kotlin has classes uh, that have multiple instances and object for singletons. Uh, the companion object is an extension of the concept of objects. Uh, that is a companion that has a particular class and uh, it has access to its private level methods and properties. So that's just it. Uh, that's a, an, uh, a, a kind of object that has I have a, a, a companion like uh, that has an extension or or that actually uh, focus or look upwards to uh, its private level methods and properties. So they are still part of uh, the singleton uh, flow of your instances. So you have that the get output media type, which uh, you, let's get to look at this right there in the Java class. Uh, you the get output media type as the create image file the get output media URI here media file look at it over here so calling the integer type you can see the type int and the file in question which is the file uh, class you can see there so it's just like uh, a tweak to what we have in the Java class and the Kotlin version all following in a parallel way so you have the val which is the uh, the the media storage and uh, you get that uh, being uh, initialized so you also you, saw, you also have the timestamp to get that done so I would like you to go through these and also dig in deep into the Kotlin documentation it's quite fresh but uh, a lot of developers are embracing Kotlin which is a shortened form of uh, of, of, of writing uh, Android applications and I'll implore you to also convert other classes, uh, lay hands on the PDF, lay hands on the video, uh, try to uh, to get that uh, settled up and uh, wire it with uh, the different Java classes you have and build your application and see if it crashes or run. Definitely it's going to run if you do everything correctly. So this is just uh, a brush down of how to get uh, the image activity which was asked uh, vividly from uh, one of my uh, good listeners out there to actually get this done in Kotlin. So we have the Kotlin version of the image activity. I will push you, I will implore you guys to convert all their uh, activity and let's see how it flows. If you have any problem whatsoever, please leave uh, the question or leave your query right there in the comment section. I'll be there to, uh, to listen and to fix if we're applicable. I'll also be committing this as a Kotlin branch right there in the GitHub so you could lay hands on it and compare with what you have. Thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this video. I'll be showing you the, the screencast of this Kotlin version of the image activity. Bye bye for now.